Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Brew Stories with me, Rich. And Dean. And where are we today, Dean? Today we are in McCall's, in the, the wilds of County Durham. Ooh. <laughs> So uh, we're going to talk to Danny, so roll BT. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Brew Stories. Hiya. And today we've travelled all the way from Newcastle to see McCall's. And this is Danny. Uh, I first met Danny at the Drink and Eat Festival in Hall's Yard. Yeah. And we said we'd come and see you, so... Hi. Uh -huh. um, I didn't think it would come true, but I think it's a uh, man of his word. Uh -huh. So, it's good so to have them here. We've come to learn really about your brewery and what's going on, so yeah. what is going on? Um, if I took it right back from the beginning, mm -hmm. I'd say done about 10 years home brewing yeah. and kind of learned the ropes and just the terminology and the general process. And about six years ago, I was fortunate enough to get a commercial job at a brewery over in Cumbria. Right. 20 barrel, so same size as this. And within, say, six months, was just left to run the ship. Yeah. So kind of <laughs> dealing with all the malt. Uh, digging out the mash tun and just basically putting 100, 150 brews a year through. Yeah. So learnt the hard way, learnt the pitfalls and learnt what I didn't want to do. Yeah. And then about three years ago got the itch yeah. to start up my own brewery, have my own creative influence sure. in the products and stuff. Two years ago made official plans and then November last year left the brewery, jumped ship took the keys to this place, wow, yeah. desolate, empty, I've got a few pictures on social media if anyone nice. checks them out. Cool. And got to work. Yeah. Drains, floor, infrastructure, wow. new bloody gas feed yeah. into the bloody estate, uh, and then all this stainless steel. And then um, you've got four core beers. Yeah, four core, yeah. yeah. This four is the, the IPA. IPA, yeah. uh, straight out of the tank. Nice um, and hazy. Nice and hazy, <laughs> full of good, genuinely 100% British hop aroma. Mm. So kind of, I love to, I love any style of beer. Yeah. Can't wait to open up the portfolio to alternative brews. Yes. But I wanted to say like, it's a British IPA, yeah. British ingredients, yeah. British hops, yeah. dry hopped with British hops and it just, it delivers, like quite a restrained beer, yeah. Yeah. but delivers plenty full of flavour, flavor. Yeah. Yeah. full of body, 5% so yeah. still in my eyes a session IPA, yeah, 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 but uh, not light on the like complexity and hop yeah. aroma. Bit. So is there any collaborations that you'd like to work with? Um, I think, yeah there is, yeah. for probably quite a few different reasons. Okay. Uh, Allendale, yeah. I think they make some of the region's no. best sophisticated and traditional beer yeah and it would be lush to just kind of clash heads and kind of see what we could come up with i wouldn't like to even think where that would go right uh almasty because i think they're just doing absolutely oh, yeah. uber quality but uber craft yeah maybe at where we're at at the minute isn't kind of chiming with almasty but just love their stuff yeah. so someone and rig and furrow yeah uh few and pippa just seem to get on with them very well and i love their farmhouse just paired back yeah really simple and mellow i hope i'm not summing them up in the wrong terms but love their beer i love their kind of ethos yeah so well hopefully we can make that happen well yeah <laughs> ne you never know but i'm a slow burner so one yeah. for the future so what's next for your uh, your beer journey? We've got probably a good time to kind of let the cat out the bag. Is that we've got a Black Forest Stout wow. coming out within the next two months. If I say before Christmas, yeah, that's putting us <laughs> on a deadline. Yeah. but it's down to the condition and the maturation of the beer. Right. we we. Genuinely hoping it's coming out before Christmas. Well, mid 5%, loads of depth, loads of cherry sweetness, yeah. and hopefully the biggest body. Wow. So, yeah. you could say a winter Christmas beer, but we're hoping to, if it goes well, yeah. and it's received well, we're hoping to bring it in the kind of the core range. Right. But it's going to be released this winter. Yeah. This, Neil is down to this winter. This winter, guys. Not a date, but this winter. <laughs> in the future, you think you'll have a, um, a tap room maybe opening? Absolutely. Brilliant. 
Uh, there's definite plans and it will happen just off camera right. uh, for events and casual drinking right. uh, within the letter of the license which we've, we've got secured and we're allowed people in to drink on premises yeah. but we want to make it more inviting right. but we would love a tap room yeah. elsewhere as oh, well off site uh, either, either Barnard Castle or Bishop Auckland would be perfect site for us initially yeah. to get into the community and get another kind of outlet yeah. but absolutely yeah. honestly I hope we come across as like we're willing to go places yeah. and kind of experiment and yeah. kind of go where the craft industry is at basically yeah. we're probably behind it but we're looking really to kind right. of go full steam ahead which is right <laughs> it is it is yeah absolutely well thank you for that yeah uh, no great start drinking Cheers. <laughs> well thanks to Danny there that's great eh? it was great it was really interesting yeah. and you should uh, check this brewery out I think it's gonna go places I think absolutely it is yeah and do things and yeah, keep uh, an eye open why do we do this yeah, we do this for the love of beer that's right <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs>